In this video, I'm going to give you 10 best transitions for free that you can use in your videos and trust me, these transitions are completely changed the game of your video and here is the preview. Hey everyone hope you like the preview so these transitions are completely free you get the download link in the description below must check it out so now let's move to the next segment of the video is how you can use these transitions using adobe premiere pro so before moving further with this video i have a small request to all of you please subscribe my youtube channel we are very close to 100k so make sure to subscribe my youtube channel like this video and comment down below if you have any question about premiere pro or after effect so here we are right inside of adobe premiere pro you can use any version of adobe premiere it does not matter so here we have uh, some footages i got this footage from inveto you can also get the link in the description below inveto is one of the best website for creator or designer so if you are really interested to get a subscription of inveto i also mentioned the link in the description below by using my link you get some discount so make sure if you are really interested to check it out the link so the first thing we need to do is to go to effects if this effects panel isn't appear here just go to windows and here we got an option of effects my sure it will be checked and it automatically appear right here so here we have a preset these transitions are absolutely in preset you need to go with the preset option just right click and here we got an option of import preset now once you download my preset once you extract the zip file it just look like this you need to select the preset file and press ok and after a few seconds it just come here so here we have our 10 best transitions you just need to drop down and here we have a 10 folder right here so you can obviously use it by just directly draw up and down right here on your main footage but i really don't recommend you this because if you do this it just makes some error or if you want to change this effect later it just makes some really hurdle for you so just go to a project panel create a new adjustment layer it just automatically detected your sequence setting just drop down on your main footage go with the between two points and just hold shift and right arrow key and here we have our five frames just we need a 10 frame on each side right so here is the 10 frame so make a cut right here by press ctrl k just delete the extra layer go back holding shift and go back and right we just need to hold shift again and and left arrow key twice and here we just need to make a cut press ctrl k and delete this extra layer so here we have an adjustment layer of 20 frame per second 10 frame on each side so here we have an effects and here you go we have some cool transition right here so as you can see some folder contain only one file and some folders contain two different files so let me explain you the folders that contain two different files you need two different adjustment layer for that but some folder contain a single file so you don't need double adjustment layer you just need one adjustment layer to apply this transition so let me show you here we have a color zoom in effect so here we have a bottom and top file you just need to make a two adjustment layer make it between the two footage and we just need to drop bottom at the bottom adjustment layer and the top file at the top adjustment layer here we go our transition is just ready here we go we have a color zoom in transition right here we just need to delete the attributes and now let's apply some effect that contain a single file so here we have an offset so i'm just apply it on my adjustment layer and here we go here you can see we can just use a single adjustment layer and we can done it now let's apply some other effect as well we have a stretch glow which contain a two different file we need a two adjustment layer obviously we just drag and drop a bottom file at the bottom and drag a top file at the top adjustment layer and here we go 
so if you want to change some orientation or you want to change some effects right it just slides up and down you can change it uh, orientation or rotation you can change it from here effects control and change whatever you want right you change the values you change the orientation and whatever you really like to do so yeah that's all for today's video i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about premiere pro or after effect please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one